V životě každého může přijde čas, kdy musí splatit svoje dluhy. A pro mě tenhle čas přišel teď. Ten dluh, který mám, je dluh vůči vám i vůči svýmu kanálu. Protože nedávno jsem zjistil, v závorce byl jsem upozorněn, že mám spoustu rozehraných sérií, které nejsou dokončený. A já jsem se poškrábal na hlavě a řekl jsem si, jo, to je pravda. Uh, Některé věci jsem nedotáhl do konce a měl bych to napravit, takže tohle to je vlastně ta nejstarší věc, kterou jsem nedotáhl do konce. Je to hra, která se jmenuje Broken Sword, uh, je to adventura z roku 1996, která mě hodně, hodně zasáhla, když jsem byl ve svých hráčských plenkách. Uh, takže roztočil jsem i v minulosti, byla to jedna z prvních her, který jsem natáčel, udělal jsem asi Pět nebo šest dílů, a přesně nevím. Měl jsem nějaký technický problémy, úplně mi to nevyhovovalo, nesedlo, takže jsem to nedokončil a chci to dokončit teď. Takže jdeme na to. Cože? Co? Jak? Začínám rychlost, ne, nesouhlasím. Pryč? Já chci pryč, já chci rád, souhlasím. Tak, jo, výborně. Tahle hra e, zaznamenala obrovský úspěch. Je to adventura, která se odehrává na začátku v Paříži, potom se posuneme do Irska, budeme v Sýrii a podobně. A hlavním hrdinou je tady ten člověk, který se jmenuje George Stobart. Je to americký turista, který e, zavítal do Paříže a v Paříži si prostě po tom, co už zkoukl všechno, co zkouknul mohl, sedl na kafe do takové pěkné kavárny. A došlo k explozi. Jak k ní došlo, se můžete podívat v intru, který najdete určitě před tím tím videem, protože jsem ho tam nahrál. A je to úvod opravdu epického velkého příběhu o e, spiknutí, o hledání tajných věcí, o templářích a podobně. Takže pojďme se na to podívat. Ehm, je to klasický point and click. Takže nás nečeká nic překvapivého. Kurzor je interaktivní, to je Takže se mění podle toho, uh, vlastně, jakou akci můžete udělat. Ruka znamená jít. Jo, vidíte tady. Tady. Lupa znamená překvapivě podívat se. Uh, tady ten ty prsty zvan, znamenají zvednout. A tady ten, tohle znamená prostě... Nějak s tím pracovat. Tady tady zvedneme noviny, pojďte. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. That was the only news story. The rest was rumor, gossip and sensationalism. Then I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read Sala Edin, 1345. Ha. To je důležitá věc, pozor. Ručně psaná poznámka. Co tu máme dál? Uh, dál tady vzadu máme takového pána, ale na to se ještě dívat nebudem. Teď se koukujeme tady na naši kavárnu. Trochu jsem zvýšil hlasitost, asi jste si všimli. Já se budu snažit nekycat do těch rozhovorů, které tady mají tyhle ty postavy. Protože to, o co tady jde, je ten příběh, takže berte to jako kino, kde já nejsem důležitý, ale důležitá je ta hra a to, co ty postavy říkají a dělají. Děkuji za pochopení. Wow, tak. Tohle ten pán. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. Hmm. Takže ten člověk tam prostě přišel s nějakým kufříkem, přišel clown, položil vedle něj bombu, kufřík ukradl a zdrhl. A pán je prostě mrtvej. No a tady je čišnice, to na to jsme dělali oči. Tak se na ní kouknem. Jo, ta to přežila. Oh my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh no, don't tell me. What is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. 
She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Co jsme doktor? Nejsme doktor? Ne, nejsme doktor. No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Jasně, nalej mi. Třeba by legrace. Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a cheat on it. I guess a little drop won't hurt. That's better. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. What about the old man? Is he dead? No, holko, je to, že je mrtvý, no. Yes, he is. Oh, mon dieu. I've never seen a real life corpse before. Except for grandmama. That was different. She was family. Has he gone stiff? I shouldn't think so. He's only been dead a few minutes. Tak. Budeme se vyptávat, protože samozřejmě uh, srdcem každé adventury jsou dialogy a tady v tom stýře jsou dialogy obzvlášť důležitý. Je to hra napraná dialogama, je to fakt prostě takový ukecený film. Tak, zeptáme se na toho pána. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. No, co clown? Ne, ještě jednou pán. How did the old man behave? Well... Agitated, he kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had that look about him, like a guilty husband. Hmm, první manžel. To asi nebude to, co tady, to, co tady odhrálo. Tak, zeptáme se na klauna. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played all right. It was like a funeral dirge. I'd never liked accordion music either. Did the clown speak to the old man? No, he just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Briefcase, jasně. Budeme pokračovat ještě v tom klaunovi. Did the old man try to stop the clown? Oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. Dobře. Tak, kufřík. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. Tak, vyčerpali jsme všechny témata, ale tady máme nahoře ještě náš inventář, takže já zkusím. Did this newspaper belong to the old gentleman? I don't know. Someone has scribbled a note on it. It reads Sala Edin, 1345. Does that mean anything to you? No, monsieur, nothing. Nothing. Co pak to je Sala Edin? OK, tady všichni jsme proklepli. Je čas posunout se dál. Stay here, mademoiselle. I'm going to look around for evidence. Tak, můžeme tady chvilinku slídit, ale nemá to smysl, to už jsme všechno viděli. Pokusíme se odejít a měl by vyjít inspektor. 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 Sakra. <laughs> Moje paměť je týrana. Tak zkusíme jít někam jinam. Ah, jo. Obrazovka vedle. Please. Hold it right there. Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. <laughs> Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moo. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe, march. Tak. Přece jsem se dostanu do té kavárny, já jsem to věděl. 
Detaily mi unikají, ale to podstatný si snad pamatuju. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Stop holding your breath at once. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead? Move. Oui, monsieur. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence and... How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? All we know is that he is dead. It seemed reasonable to assume... A great detective assumes nothing. Take Maigret, for instance. But, but he was a fictitious character, monsieur. Why, he was no more real than Poirot or Tintin. That's different, Moo. They were comedy Belgians. Anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. I doubt if she is in a fit state for questioning, monsieur. It smells to me as if she has been drinking. As I feared. We have stumbled upon a den of iniquity, Moo. Leave her to me, sir. I am used to handling drunken women. I do not doubt that for one moment. Eh, maintenant, to business. Tak. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Tak co? Tak co? Tak jak? Tak já myslím, že takhle. No. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? No. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon, the picture is forming in my mind and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mu? She'll live if she survives the hangover. She doesn't remember seeing a clown, monsieur. That's odd, don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe, I wonder? Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough. Tak, pozor. Máme za sebou první setkání s francouzskou policií, která vypadá lehce nestandardně. Pan detektiv bude zřejmě asi fanda parapsychologie a tady strážník Mou. 
Hmm, hmm. Vypadá lehce nepoužitelně. No a tohle z toho, to je Nicole. To je Nicole, uh, novinářka a... Uvidíte. Tak si pojďme proklopnout Nicole. Uh... Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yeah, that's right, on holiday in Paris. Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside, just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh no, nothing like that. I am Nicole Collard from La Liberté. Well, what's that, some kind of nightclub? Uh, no, it is a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you can interview me about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. Oh God, it's him again. No, dobře. Takže toto je Nicole, která bude hrát velmi důležitou roli v celém našem příběhu. Uh, uvidíte takový krásný zbližování tady těch, z těch dvou postav. Je to romantika, sranda, uvidíte. Uh, je to reportérka, uh, pracuje pro La Liberté, pravděpodobně, a už o tom zřejmě něco ví, takže ji pořádně proklepnem. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. <laughs> a navíc je občas pěkně sucha. Who's the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Uh, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. How did Plantar get your name? Through the newspaper La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders. One in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costumed killer. Planta said he could supply me with more information. Hmm. Yeah, keep vraždy v pozadí. Why won't you tell me about this clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. Ah, výborně. Ho, ho. To bylo smut. You help me with my story, and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. A bientôt, monsieur. Fine, I'll uh, see you soon. Hmm, ještě jsme si nepopovídali o ní a o inspektoru Rosovi. Hej, 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 to. No, nicméně, George nebere ne jako odpověď, takže to bude to ještě hodně zajímavý. Teď nás bude zajímat i ten pán s tím krumpáčem v pozadí. Protože, protože bychom se potřebovali podívat tady na jeho kastý s nářadím. Hey, stop that! Get away from there! What do you think you're doing? I was admiring your toolbox. Are we? Had a good look, have you? I'm warning you, if you touch it, I'll crack your nut. <laughs> Okay, I get your point. Je úžasně, úžasně dubovaný, moc se mi to líbí. Prokecnem ho. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested. No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, ka! I thought that was it. Those automatics spark quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Tak, zkusme si ho prokecnout, třeba něco viděl. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's 
too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. <laughs> Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. OK, takže plantárt nic moc, jenom se nějak asi jako potkali a něco si měnili za uh, ostrý slova, takže clown. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Huh. Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. <laughs> Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. The clown killed the old man? That's right. Blew him up with a bomb concealed in his squeeze box. Merde. But why did he go to the bother of dressing up like a clown? Who can unravel the tangled logic of a killer's mind? I guess it's some deep-seated psychological need. Or just plain showmanship. Tak. My bychom přece jenom potřebovali se dostat do té jeho krabice na nářadí, takže zkusíme jaký malý tyříček. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Ah, look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Yeah, save the <coughs> dolphins, catch them and eat them. I say, all that fuss over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those, like champagne bottle corks. No, ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse. A horse, a legend. Bucephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning she is. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it. Help yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> OK, pán byl sice krásně dabovaný, ale v tom chvíli se s ním loučíme. Ale je to pro nás pozitivní. Uh, Salah ed Dean byl kůň, který běží nějaký dostih a pán si jde vsadit a my můžeme za prvý použít jeho telefon. Mohl bychom zavolat Nikol, nebo pravděpodobně, ne, ne, na policejní stanici ještě ne, ale to nevadí. Nikol volat nechceme, protože pro nic nemáme. Sakryš. Tak. Ale chceme se podívat tady sem, protože tady najdeme důležitou věc. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. T-shaped tool. Neboli uh, nářadí ve tvaru T. Uh, mohli bychom mít sem. Tady uvidíme mapu, ale myslím si, že nemáme ještě moc kam mít, ale můžeme se podívat. Tam je mapa Paříže a tam se budou pomalinku obyvat lokace, kam můžeme zajet. Mohli bychom na policii, ale tam nechcem. Chcem zůstat v kavárně, protože tady je taková... Za zatáčkou skrytá lokace, která nás posune kousek dál. Tak, a ta lokace je skrytá tady. Takový nepřehledný tunel. Pokud si vzpomenete, tak v tom intru, pokud jste ho viděli, tak tam utekl ten clown, takže to nás hodně zajímá, tohle z toho místo. Ha. Tak, paráda. 
je tu spousta popelnic, spousta nepořádků, je tady nějaký uh, okap. Zkusím na ní vylezt. Ale... Kam po ní chtěl šplhat? Ach, ti američaní. Tak, tady je spousta nepořádků. I examined the boxes closely. They were damp and smelly and decidedly empty. Hmm. Co v koši? Neschovává se vrah v koši? Neschovává. Přímně to nebylo, ale neschovává. Tak, co tady? There was nothing of interest. Tak. OK, ale máme tady, podívejte se, kanál. Kanál by mohl být vodítko. Ne. Hmm. A proto tady máme co? Proto tady máme T-shaped tool, které zasuneme do kanálu. Trhneme si víkem. Oh yeah, a můžeme dolů. Hmm. Cesta vede tudy, cesta vede tudy, ale na to, jaké dobrodružství nás čeká v pařížských stokách, na to se podíváme příště. Já doufám, že se vám Broken Sword líbí, pokud jo, tak víte, jak to dát najevo, pokud ne, tak taky víte, jak to dát najevo. Udějte, co uznáte za vhodný, v každém případě se mějte fajn, Hrajte a uvidíme se u dalšího dílu Broken Swordu zatím. Čau!